But when you, when you have an anecdote after an anecdote, when you have a thousand anecdotes, this is, starts to sound like data, especially if you can study it well in, in, in you know, studies that are well designed and you start mm. to see patterns. This is how science works. And then you see patterns that are conserved in variant aspects of those experiences. Others, of course, are colored by your religious beliefs, you could say, or even scientific beliefs, right? So these anecdotes are not just anecdotes. There's a lot of data so far, and now we can address it from the neural side of things, and we still don't know. But I think the relevant thing to say about this is what's a brain? If a brain is a productive organ of consciousness, or as William James put it more than 100 years ago, if it is a permissive <laughs> organ. And so out-of-body experiences and near-death experiences, given the data that we start having, suggest it's more the latter. It's a permissive, it's a filter more than a productive um, organ of these, of these things we call mind and consciousness.